So now I want to measure the pressure of the flowing fluid. So I want to measure total pressure, static pressure and dynamic pressure of the flow which is flowing in the pipe in the duct or flowing fluid. So consider a pipe. Consider air flow through it. Air flow. This is inlet 1, this is outlet 2. So, for measuring the pressure of this air flow inside this duct, I am using manometers, U2 manometers. So, first let's measure the static pressure. So, static pressure is always measured at the wall. So this is a U2 manometer, one end is connected to the wall or to the pipe, other end is free to the atmosphere. In this there is some liquid, consider it as mercury, so mercury column is there. So the static pressure, the air flow will having both components, dynamic and static. So there will be some pressure exerted on the mercury, it will move down. Move down and this will move up. So there will be some height difference in it. This height will give me the height of static pressure. Now I take another manometer. Now this time the U2 manometer one end is free to the atmosphere. The other end is just facing the flow direction. Now consider this, when the fluid particle will enter here, there is a mercury column here. So when the fluid will enter here, it will be stopped, it can't move further. It will shift this mercury level to somewhere up to here and in this column up to here. And then it will stop, it won't continue. So at this point, the whole velocity of the fluid is stopped or it is finished so the velocity of the fluid here will be zero so this is the stagnation point so here all the properties which will measure will be stagnation properties so the this height difference will give me total pressure or stagnation pressure this pressure contains both the components static pressure as well as dynamic pressure now the flow was flowing and I stopped it by applying the by uh, this entering the fluid in the U2 manometer the fluid velocity is reduced to zero and it's all its properties are now converted to stagnant properties so here stagnation properties are there so this column this height column will give me the total pressure height now consider another U2 manometer this pipe I will uh, redraw the diagram So this is another pipe. This is a similar pipe as this. Air flow I am considering. So there is a YouTube manometer again. But the other end now is not connected to the atmosphere but to the wall. So this end is connected to the wall. This end is connected to the free stream. So fluid will enter here, there mercury column, it will move down the mercury column up to here and in this column fluid will, here also the fluid will exert static pressure here because the, on the wall the fluid will exert static pressure. So it will move down the mercury column and here it will move down the mercury column. So the net balance will be that some height difference will be there in both the mercury columns. This will give me height of dynamic pressure because here it measures total pressure when it was other end was connected to the atmosphere here it measures static pressure when the other end was connected to the wall and other was connected to the atmosphere now here one end is connected to the free stream other end is connected to the wall it measures difference between total pressure and static pressure that is the dynamic pressure so from here i measure 
static pressure from here i measure total pressure from here i measure dynamic pressure now if i apply the bernoulli's equation here and in this flow i can obtain the velocity of the flowing fluid how so now i apply the bernoulli equation and obtain the velocity of the flowing fluid so consider this is air flow in this tube This is in it is out so similar I am drawing the manometer here I want to obtain the velocity of the fluid which is flowing in this tube now suppose this air is flowing with velocity V in this tube fine so this is having some kinetic energy that will be half rho v square now consider this point as a and consider this point as b fine so if i apply the bernoulli equation so the total pressure at a is some pressure a plus since there is no kinetic energy here since the, all the fluid has come to rest so the kinetic energy component will be zero here total pressure at B will be PB and there is also kinetic energy component kinetic energy component pressure is what is is what we say dynamic pressure this kinetic energy of the flow is responsible for the dynamic pressure so it will give me half rho V square so here what I have done is Bernoulli's equation what we have done in this end at A the total pressure is static pressure plus dynamic pressure and since the total pressure is always same at anywhere in the point anywhere in the fluid so here total pressure is PA plus again static plus dynamic so, uh, static is P and dynamic is 0 since there is no kinetic energy here here static is PB and dynamic is half rho v square since the fluid is also flowing at this point so from here we can obtain p a minus p b is equal to half rho v square so v will give me under root 2 p a minus p b divided by rho this is the formula for the velocity of the flowing fluid from this formula I can calculate the velocity of the flowing fluid PA minus PB we can substitute like this PA this point A minus PB if I consider the manometer what it is the difference in the height the difference in the mercury column height height of the mercury column let it be h that is rho g h and if air is flowing here we can take it rho g h if any other fluid is flowing in this um, in this column suppose water is flowing here or any other fluid is there in this tube so it could be taken as p a minus p b is equal to rho minus rho l that will be density of the liquid which is flowing in the tube gh fine so we can substitute any one of this equation in this equation and can obtain the velocity of the flowing fluid so in this way the velocity of the flowing fluid is measured and above i explained how the static pressure is measured how the total pressure is measured and how the dynamic pressure is measured so all these things were explained to show the difference between the total pressure, static pressure and dynamic pressure. Thanks for watching.